This is a live channel's television event. Uh, Royal Father, we also have the representative of the Oba of Lagos, who is also here with us, and all the traditional rulers. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, is the third edition of CAD Invest, and we welcome you here this morning. And this is, uh, of course, bringing you opportunities, investment opportunities in Kaduna State. You'll begin to hear more of that as I invite uh, once again uh, to take this for us, the welcome address. Please let's welcome Uma Yusuf Aboki. Thank you very much. To not only survive, but to thrive in our dear state. Thank you very much, and thank you for your attention, and may God bless Kaduna State and Nigeria. The Right Honorable Aminu Abdullahi Shigali, the Speaker, Kaduna State House of Assembly, accompanied by the Chief Whip of Kaduna State, Honorable uh, Yusuf Zailani. We thank you for that message. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is time that we do the unveiling of CAD Invest, the third edition of it, uh, Partnerships for Development. And may I, at this moment, invite His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kaduna State, Madam Nasser Arifai, to please come forward and come to this podium and unveil CAD Invest, third edition of it, for us. Your Excellency. Your Excellency, the former President of the United Republic of Tanzania, my elder brother, Dr. Jekaya Kikwete, His Royal Majesty, the Oni of Ife, my brother and friend, the Right Honorable Speaker of the Kaduna State House of Assembly, members of the National Assembly here present, members of the Kaduna State House of Assembly here present, members of the Kaduna State Executive Council, your Royal Highnesses, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, and once again, welcome to Kaduna State and the Kaduna Investment Summit, third edition. My job is to unveil this edition of the summit, and I have a presentation that I'll quickly rush through uh, with your permission, Mr. President. I will uh, focus on our priorities, get my iPad. update on our progress in the last three years, and our plans for the future for the next uh, few years, and then I will conclude by inviting more and more of you to invest in Kaduna State. I don't want to be turning to be looking at the presentation, so I will, if you permit, Mr. President, I will have my own presentation to look at. Well, that nice building, Mr. President, is my office. Uh, I hope you'll have the chance to visit before you leave. <laughs> so what is our vision? We were elected on a platform of change, and we promised that we will make Kaduna great again, working with all the people that live in this state. And, uh, our ultimate destination is to have a state where there is abundant economic opportunities and prosperity, social inclusion, peace and security, good governance, and improved quality of lives of the citizenry. To this end, in our first edition of CAD Invest in 2016, we unveiled the Kaduna State Development Plan, a five-year plan focused on delivering on jobs, social justice and prosperity. We presented that at CAID Invest 2016 and we've been working on that since then. The key components of the plan, which is a five-year plan, as I said, is to work towards making Kaduna great again. And it provides a strategic framework to realize our vision, to plan, 
and finance priority projects and then monitor results on the ground. Um, we also felt that the plan was a platform to engage the citizenry of Kaduna on their development needs. And essentially, we developed the plan by an intensive consultation process and crowdsourcing and getting uh, the views of the citizens of Kaduna State. And at the end of the day, the plan is like a building uh, with the foundation of governance, security and justice, and two components, one focus on economic development and the other focusing on social welfare. welfare. Um, the, de the plan is available online and uh, we'll have copies available for anyone that wants to go home with. So what is our vision? Our hope is that by 2020, Kaduna will be a destination for business investment and the food basket of northern Nigeria, where all citizens have access to quality healthcare and education, so we are investing in human capital. All citizens will live and move freely without fear of harm, and will provide a transparent and accountable government with highly motivated and efficient civil service. Over the five-year period of the plan, investments of over 800 billion naira, equivalent then of about $4 billion, are targeted for public-private partnerships. So how has the private sector responded since we availed the plan? We have been, I will say, with all sense of modesty, quite successful. Our investment summit, as Mr. President observed, in his goodwill message. It's not a talk shop. Olam, a Singaporean-based agribusiness, has built the largest poultry and feed mill in sub-Saharan Africa, an investment of $150 million, creating about 10,000 direct and indirect jobs here in Kaduna. We have so far attracted investment in affordable housing, equivalent to about $100 million. Vicampro, Another agribusiness is building the largest uh, potato farm and processing plant in Nigeria, in Kaduna State, an investment of about $100 million. We've, we've also attracted nearly $40 million of investment to build neighborhood centers and markets all across the state with uh, potential jobs of over 2,000. We hope during this summit we will commission the Mahindra tractor assembly plant. This is an Indian business that will be assembling tractors uh, here in Kaduna for the Nigeria and West Africa market. Uh, Sunseed feed mill also in Zaria. It's a $10 million investment uh, creating about 300 jobs. Tomato Joss, a very interesting business, a Harvard MBA who moved to Nigeria to start a tomato business, called her company Tomato Jaws, but has now moved to Kaduna, so it's actually Tomato Kaduna now, where she is doing incredible work, working with our farmers to produce more tomato in our state. Kaduna is the largest producer of tomatoes, soya beans, maize and ginger in Nigeria, and this investment will only make us even bigger. We also have the Kaduna ICT hub, which houses the largest business processing operation in Nigeria, a $5 million investment. And uh, we have the Stambik IBTC hub and Cut Step program. These are all uh, attempts to create jobs and encourage entrepreneurship in our state. Blue Camel Energy produces photovoltaic cells for solar power here in Kaduna. They assemble uh, solar panels in Kaduna, a $200,000 investment. And the CADAT program is aimed at uh, um, training young people as artisans for the building, construction trades, and so on and so forth. Uh, we have all this. Uh, 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 investment opportunities and businesses that are ongoing since we unveiled uh, uh, Kaduna Investment Summit. Uh, 
But what is the summary of the investments by type? What we found interesting when we analyzed the last three years is that 79% of all the investments that we attracted to Kaduna State are foreign investments. Only 21% is domestic. This is both good news and worrying news. It is good news because it means that foreign investors have taken notice of Kaduna and are coming. But it is also worrying because it means that we are not doing enough to attract domestic investors. And this is why one of the reasons why our theme for this year's com conference is Partnerships for Development. We want to focus more on domestic investors and get more domestic investments into Kaduna. But how do we do that? Because if you attract businesses to Kaduna, you need a skilled workforce. So our first priority is to build human capital. And we're engaged in a range of activities aimed at building the human capital of Kaduna state citizens to make sure that we have young people that are ready to be employed, that have the education and the skills to be employed. On this uh, page, we have some of these um, uh, steps that we've taken all in the uh, effort to build our human capital in the state. I will not take all the time to go through this, but we are very conscious of the importance of human capital. We have other upcoming and ongoing projects. I have mentioned those that are already in the bag. These are projects that we hope that by the time you come back to Card Invest 4.0, uh, some of them would have taken off. We are in touch with Blisco, uh, the Dutch company that produces African prints, to do a textile park in Kaduna. We are also working with Ala, which is the one of the largest dairy companies in the world, to start a dairy farm and ranches here. Uh, neighborhood centers will continue to do more of those, affordable housing. We are working with uh, Jelani Aliyu uh, to establish the Kaduna Automotive Village. We also have several solar power projects. We are privatizing our state on enterprises and developing green economic zone and uh, industrial zone. We are also establishing a company, Kaduna Produce Marketing Company, to work with off-takers so that our farmers will have ready markets. Our farmers know how to farm, but they don't know how to market their products. Kaduna Produce Marketing Company Limited will work with likes of Olam, uh, flour mills of Nigeria, uh, stallion, to be off-takers for most of our agricultural products. We are building, we are working with investors to build two five-star hotels in Kaduna. We've nearly concluded uh, arrangements to start the construction of a 200-bed Kaduna Hilton Hotel. So we hope that by, in a couple of years, when you come back, you will have better hotels to stay in Kaduna because it's an issue here. Uh, we are doing a lot of gold and granite uh, exploration and production. And OCP of Morocco is establishing a center of agricultural excellence here. Indorama, based in LMA, is also doing the same. We are working with Dangote and Pujo to build a 